Well, I'm an old baseball player, and I always liked the double play. The five to four to three was always a great play. It's just a great part of baseball. Now, what could I be talking about that could have a double play that might be of interest to you? Hi, this is Scott Carter, CEO of PM Capital, and what I wanted to talk to you today about was silver because silver is that old baseball term, a double play. Now, if you're a basketball player, maybe you would say it's a triple-double. Or maybe if you're a football player, it's a double reverse. Or maybe if you're playing blackjack, you're gonna double down. It's double the opportunity is what I'm referring to. Silver is not only the classic metal to hedge against inflation, to hedge against devaluing of the dollar, but it's also an industrial metal. Silver has so many uses and continues to grow worldwide. It's used in microbiology, it's used in Tesla cars, it's used in solar panels, it's used in all kinds of healthcare, and it continues to grow. Basically, if it has a switch, it has silver in it. As a matter of fact, I know we're all silver owners because every one of your PDAs has 50 cents of silver. So when you look at silver, how is it typically priced? In the earth, for every ounce of gold, there are 15 ounces of silver. That's just the way it was set up. There will never be any more. There will never be any less. That's what we mine. Now, from a pricing standpoint, historically, since we have used silver, it's been priced at, for every one ounce of gold, you could buy 33 ounces of silver. So not 15, but you could buy 33 ounces of silver for every one ounce of gold. That gives you the relationship of gold to silver pricing. Sitting here today, as of this recording of the video, you could buy 70 ounces of silver for every one ounce of gold. So not only does silver give you this interesting double play, but right now, many experts believe that the price of silver is well below its historical price. In fact, we know it's well below. It's 70 to one right now instead of 33 to one. It would have to get up to 38 to $40 an ounce just to get back to its historical pricing in relation to gold. So that's why when individuals are considering owning precious metals, they're taking a close look at silver, and maybe if they're buying both, gold and silver, they might lean more towards silver, maybe 65% silver, and the remaining balance 35% in gold instead of 50-50 or instead of all gold. It's really ultimately the investor's decision based on their appetite, what they want. But I wanted to let you know that silver at its price today at roughly $17 an ounce has a lot of running room to get back to its all-time high of $48 an ounce. As you're considering owning precious metals in your portfolio, give silver a good look. It's the other white metal and it might be right for you. Thanks.